Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We f***ed up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. What's going on America? I'm the right wing danger out of and in this video we gotta talk about one of the greatest clapbacks in podcast history. My man Charleston White destroys Cam Newton when Cam Newton criticized him about his delivery. You know how those soy boys and marshmallow men always cry about, well it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Well Charleston White is calling the black community hypocrites by being offended by his delivery while promoting and listening to the most vile, disgusting music you could imagine. Let's check this out. See, this, see, this is the thing, Charleston. Like, I, I think everything that you're saying has some truth to it. It's just the, the delivery. You're oh. standing, there's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil when you got kids that kill kids and say, we smoking on Tuca. See, they wasn't worried about the delivery when these kids in Chicago were talking about smoking on Tuca. Mm -hmm. They wasn't worried about the delivery. I ain't got no manners for no slut. I'm going to put my thumb in her butt. The delivery? Uh, let me pause this because y'all probably don't know what he was talking about when he said kids in Chicago were saying they were smoking on Tuca. So that, that's what, like, the drill rap music. So drill rap is basically you have kids or, or young rappers who are making songs about people who they've actually eliminated in real life. So they'll actually call out the names of the people who they have eliminated in real life. It's crazy. I like girls kissing girls where I'm from. And that's on the radio. Girls on girls. That's, they, that's promoting lesbianism to my daughter as we driving to school. This that's song correct. they playing with Drake. Y'all worried about the delivery? These niggas talking about killing each other. And they really, that thug said, I shot at your mama. You don't mention me no more. He really shot that mama. And y'all worried about my delivery? Mm -hmm. These confessing to murders on songs and y'all worried about my delivery the conditions of black sucking them talking about booty hole y'all worried about my delivery come on don't be hypocrites black people mm. Ooh, <laughs> this, is, this is epic he left cam newton speechless i'm telling you this is this is awesome because let me tell you why this resonates with me so much i've been told for years that the things that I've said to the people that I know, my friends and family, and also on the internet, they said that the things that I've said are have been factual, they have been accurate, but it's about how I say what I say. And the, the crazy thing about that is, so the same people who are questioning me how I say the things I say, and I shouldn't say certain things this way, are the same people who are supporting me when I was doing rap music, when I was making gangster rap, when I was promoting the same vile and disgusting music that black people are promoting today, they had no issue with the music that I was making, right? But now, all of a sudden, that I'm trying to see change in the black community, that I'm pointing out these things that need fixing in the black community, now all of a sudden, I'm the enemy. Now all of a sudden, I got to change my tone. But when I was talking about promoting those things that are killing the black community today oh no that was fine you could do that we're, we're, we'll clap for that but no nah, you can't talk about fixing it no nah, you can't point out the problems no nah, we don't want you to do that which makes me think do you not want your community fixed do you like it the way it is you must because you're not trying to do anything to improve the situation that a lot of people are in in the black community y'all can't listen to this music if y'all so caught up in the mind delivery yep don't do me like that and the way y'all snap and pop y'all to this music, the way y'all kill and drill to this music, don't trip about my delivery. Hey, yo, easy. Why you wear your pants like that? I wear my pants like that because that's easy access, baby. Easy. Why you talk like that? I talk like that to get my point across. Because when I wasn't talking like that, wearing a bow tie, y'all wasn't paying me no attention. And I was going to the Supreme Court, changing laws and legislations in this country. I was working with over 50 U.S. congressional members, from Ted Cruz to Mark Rubio, Senator John Cornyn. I was on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I had done a study with News 21, Walter Conkright School of Journalism. Y'all wasn't paying attention then. So I gave y'all what y'all want, a ignorant mother. They talk like them rappers. 
I'm sorry. I don't know how y'all feel about Charleston White, but I absolutely love this man. There's a lot of things that he said where I'm like, what? Why did he say that? But you could tell he's a very intelligent man. He he knows what he's talking about. He just has a certain way to deliver a message. And you're about to see why he does what he does. Now y'all listening. Now y'all paying attention, huh? I got y'all attention. Checkmate. Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We f- up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. 5% of children now are catching HIV from ages 13 to 21. What y'all worried about? 85% of the new chlamydia, all the new cases of teenagers. What y'all so caught up about? Only 35% of most kids in inner cities can read on or above their grade level. What the f*** are y'all talking about and these kids can't read? Oh, man, I, I absolutely loved Love this podcast, this interview with Charleston White. He did an excellent job explaining a lot of the things that I have to explain to people on a daily basis because they'll tell me, I get what you're saying. I understand. Yes, we got things that need to be fixed, but why you got to say it like that? Don't worry about how I'm saying it. Just understand that there's a message here, okay? It's not about how it's said. It's about what is said. You have to pay attention to the words that people are using. A lot of people say the same thing about Donald Trump. They say, Donald Trump, he shouldn't have said things the way he said it. We agree with the message. We just don't agree with the way that the message is relayed, which is BS. There are so many people who live in this world and cannot handle facts and information unless they are given out on a silver platter, unless they have a soft pillow Underneath the facts and information, the people don't want to accept it. Why is that? We've been creating too many marshmallow people in this country. We have kids that are growing up today that have no concept of what the real world is like. So they get out there into the Internet and they're like, oh, my God, I didn't know people could be mean. I've never experienced a mean person in my life. Or are you telling me I actually have to study? Are you telling me I actually have to work hard when I find a job? I can't just sit back and coast and do what I want and still collect a paycheck? Nope. You can't do that because that is not the real world. That is the world that the left is trying to create, but it will only lead to the destruction of society, and we're already witnessing that. So we have to understand that whatever somebody says, we take what they say, we we. We filter out the things that we may not like about what they said or even the way that they said it, and then we digest the information. It's like a sunflower seed. You lick the, lick the salt off the, the, the side of it, and then you crack it open, and you eat the seeds, and then you throw away the shell. There's a lot of things that I would like to see changed in the black community, and that is why I say and do the things that I say and do. That's why I go so hard, because I want to see change. I don't want to see the things that I used to see when I lived in New Orleans. I don't want to see the things that I see now on the Internet. I don't want to see none of that. I don't want to see change. I want to see positive change in the black community. And the only way that we can see that positive change is if we actually admit that there is an issue so we can work together to fix the issue. If we continue to Get rid of people who say things that we may not agree with 100%, even though they're saying things that we do agree with, then we're never going to find change because everybody feels like they have to be given everything on a silver platter with a pillow underneath, with a, with a chocolate on top, a cherry on top, whipped cream on top. No, take it the way it is. Information is information. Facts are facts, no matter how they're presented to you. So accept them as facts and reality. Or we'll keep having these issues. But the choice is yours if you want to see change. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.